part four. So this is just solving equations. So the most important thing here is to just make the make yeah is to just make all the denominators the same. So here our common denominator is as we can see it's six b squared. So if we multiply six b squared to everything, right, then this is gonna be um that's that's gonna be just one plus and then this times six b squared that's gonna be b equals this times 6b squared is going to be b squared, b squared, they're going to cancel out, so that's going to give us 6b equals 5. Done. And then b, oh, actually, I'll just do the non-permissible values for this one too. Um, so for this one, just b cannot be 0, right? Because just 1b is in the numerator. And next for b, um, let's look at this thing. So we have denominators a plus 3 and a plus 2. So let's uh, multiply a plus 3 times a plus 2 to everything, right? So, so to the left-hand side, we multiply a plus 3 times a plus 2. Um, right-hand side, a plus 3, a plus 2, right? And so these are going to cancel out. These are going to cancel out for this. And this is just going to have both of these, right? So this gives us a plus 2, a minus 2, a plus 2, a minus 2. And then minus 1 times the whole thing, right? Because this cancel out only here. And so it's just 1 times the whole thing. So that's going to be a plus 3, a plus 2. And then equals 3 times a plus 3. Like that. And now all we got to do is expand. This equals a squared minus 4. And then minus a squared plus 5a plus 6 equals 3a plus 9. And so we have a squared and minus a squared. That means these two go away. And so now we have minus 4, minus 5a, and then minus 6, like that, minus 6, equals 3a plus 9. So this gives us 8a equals, oh, actually, um, let's add 5a to both sides, plus 5a, plus 5a, and then subtract 9 to both sides, right? So that will make these to cancel out and these to cancel out. So that will give us, what is it? Minus four, minus six, minus nine. That's gonna be minus 19. Minus 19, this is equal to three A plus five A, eight A. A equals um, negative 19 over eight. And that is it. That's our answer. Oh, also, you know, for this one, also A cannot be negative 2 or negative 3 because those are both in the, in the denominator. For number C, okay, so this is basically, we can just cross multiply and get it over with, right? Because these two multiply it equals these two multiplied. So let's just do that and expand. 3x plus 1 times 4x minus 13 is going to be equal to 2x plus 5 times 6x minus 1. And so this is going to be um, equal to if we expand this, that's going to be 12x squared, and then plus these two, that's going to be 4x, and then these two, that's going to be minus 39x, and these two, that's going to be 13, right? Minus 13, that's going to be equal to this 2x and 6x, that's going to be 12x squared, and then 5 and 6, that's going to be 30x, and this, that's going to be minus 2x, right? And so that's going to be minus 2x, and then that's going to be negative 5. Okay, so now we can just take out some, um, yeah, now we can take out things. 12x squared, 12x squared, we can erase those. And can we erase anything else? No, we can't really erase other stuff. Okay, so let's um, isolate the x's. So let's move these two over there, and then let's move this 5 over here, right? So, that, so what that means is we're going to add 5 to both sides. And then mm, minus 4x plus 39x to both sides. Minus 4x plus 39x, right? And so these cancel, cancel, and these cancel. That means minus 13 plus 5. That gives us negative 8. That equals 30 plus 39 minus 6. And that's going to be 63, 63x, right? That means x is going to be equal to negative 8 over 63. And there we have our answer. That's it. Oh, and also this x cannot be 1 over 6 or 13 over 4. That's our restrictions here because they are in the denominator. Lastly, number D, 
5 over x squared plus x minus 6 equals 2 plus x minus 3 times x minus 2. First thing you've got to do, factor this. So this can be factored into x plus 3 times, yeah, times um, x minus 2, like that, right? And so if we multiply this to here and here, then that's going to give us, this is just going to be um, gone to 5. 5 is going to be equal to 2 times this whole thing, right? So x plus 3, x minus 2, and then plus, that's going to be x minus 3 over x minus 2 times x plus 3, x minus 2. These two are going to cancel, right? Those are going to cancel, and then we are going to have x minus 3 times x plus 3, like that. And now we can just expand. This is equal to 2 times, and then x squared minus sorry, plus x minus 6, plus, and then that's just going to be x squared minus 9, and then so this is 2x squared plus 2x minus 12, plus x squared minus 9, equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 21. What was that? 5. Since this is all, all equal to 5, if we just move 5 over there, then that gives us that 3x squared plus 2x minus 26 equals 0. And so we can factor this, can we? Hopefully we can. We can factor this one. Okay, so quadratic formula. Quadratic formula. X is going to be equal to um, this. Yeah, it's negative 2a, so minus 6. And then minus 2, plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac. So that's going to be 4 minus 4 times 3 times negative 26, I'm just going to make that a positive 26, like that, right? Um, and so that's going to be minus 6, minus 2, plus, minus, and then plus or minus root. 4 times 3 times 26 is 26 times 3, that is going to be 60, 78, 78 plus 1 is 79. So 4 times 79, and then since 4 is perfect square, we can just kick that out and make that a 2. And so, yeah, that's going to be 2 root 79, right? And so we can just um, take out the 2 and make that a 3. So it's minus 3 and minus 1 plus or minus root 79. And that's the answer. This is what x is. Let's say x. And that's it. Oh, also here, you can also say that x cannot be 2 or negative 3. And that's it for part four.